Hello, and welcome again to the next third episode of Final Fantasy VI. Let's play. I'm your host, Sky, from Epic Time 99. And if you're new here, please not turn this off, because it actually is a decent LP. And by decent, I mean not with a camcorder. So you can trust that it's somewhat decent. Okay? Okay. 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 Where am I? My, my. And I just removed the crown. My head hurts. Uh <laughs> Easy there. This is a slave crown. The others were using it to control you. It was robbing you of your thoughts, making it so you'd do whatever they told you. I can't remember a thing. Don't worry, it'll all come back to you, in time that is. Nope. A mysterious young woman, born with the gift of magic, and enslaved by the Gestalian Empire. What's her name? Kara. Hmm. I want a different name, but... I don't know. Let me get back to you on that, and then I'll think of a name. Hang on a sec. Alright, after a bit of thought, I chose the name Sarah. <laughs> One letter difference. But personally, I like it better than Terra, in a way. I don't know, it sounds better to me. Okay, I think that's good. Sarah. Sarah. Impressive. I've never heard of anyone recovering so fast. You must be made of tougher stuff than most. Flashback. Nope, not yet. It'll come though. <gasps> Open up. We're here for the Magitech Armor Pilot. Open this door right now, and hand over that girl. She's an agent of the Empire. Empire? Magitech armor? There's no time to explain. You need to get out of here. These fools aren't going to listen to reason. This way, quickly. Maybe I should tear off the auto. As it would be, it's just somewhat annoying. There we go. Make your way out of town through the mines. I'll try to buy you some time. Up there. They weaken you so much. You're just like, really? I mean, it's like a third of your power. Oh, okay. What's this? It's a random nothing. Okay. Save point. I'm not, I, I, why did I even try to go to it? Whatever. Yeah, I might skip through some of this, but... In, in future videos, if there's a lot of fighting in areas, I might skip through some of them. Or at least try and speed them up somehow. And video editing. She gained a level. Yeah, what level is that now? Five. I hope we are on a roll, baby. On a roll. And yes, it is worth it to get chests. Chests, chests, chests. Da -ba -dum. Phoenix down. Denied. No, oh, no, surrounded. Ow. Ah, you can't attack me yet. Yeah, most people are like Sarah. It's 
different than Terra by one letter. What's that gonna make? It makes a difference. I like renaming the characters in slight ways, personally. Just to give it a little ad flair that you're like, yeah, these are my characters. Kind of, but not really. But, um, mm hmm. Sleeping bag. Those are so helpful at save points, though. At save points, they let you uh, recover some of your health. I believe. I don't know how much exactly. But. I don't know what that exactly is there for. I know it's a door to somewhere, but for some reason you can't get into it now. I don't know if it's story related or not, I forget. But yeah. throws wrench at me. I guess I threw a wrench in his plans. <laughs> uh, bad jokes, bad jokes. I told you I'm not a comedian. <laughs> Unless you actually laughed at that, then congratulations. You have a crappy sense of humor. Like that, or you're just really tired like I am. There she is. <gasps> Uh, we got you covered now. <laughs> uh, ow. Sorry about that, but just drinking my tea. Uh, now's the flashback. My sweet little magic user. <laughs> With the slave crown, you'll be all mine! <sighs> yes. <laughs> oh, that was bad, but I'll figure out a, 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 a voice for Kefka. Oh, snap. She's killing his own soldiers. <laughs> good, good. Burn them all to a crisp! <laughs> I'm making this more comical than it should be, but, you know. Soldiers of the Empire, we stand at the dawn of a new age. The lost power of magic has returned to us. We are the chosen ones. The time has come for us to claim our rightful dominion over the world. Nothing shall stand in our way. Hurrah! Long live Emperor Gaston! Hurrah! Hurrah! Busy with all the robbing and plundering, I presume. <laughs> uh, a treasure hunter and a trail worn traveler searching the world over for relics of the past. A thief, basically. Locke. Oh, I love that name. Mm, but let's give him something different, something with a little more personality. There we go. Rain. Instead of Locke, it's Rain. A Ren. However you want to pronounce it. I'll just keep it with rain. I like that. I just like that name. <laughs> That's just me, though. I don't care if you don't like it. I do. <laughs> I prefer the term treasure hunting. <laughs> Semantic nonsense. There's a huge difference. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, we just wave a finger. <laughs> anyway, is there anything you need me to do? There is indeed. I met the girl. 
Huh? You don't mean... Mm -hmm. The city's guard is pursuing her as we speak. The city has the strength to stand up to the Empire, but it won't use it. The people are just too stubbornly independent to join an underground resistance group like the Returners. You'll learn more about them later. I tried to explain that the Empire was controlling the girl, but they wouldn't even listen. <sighs> Alright, so, you want me to get her out of Norrish? That would be the idea. Make your way to Figaro for the time being. Now watch this. Watch how long she's been unconscious from that fall. Realistic, but still. Look at that. He was able to get to her before she even wakes up. <gasps> I love this part. Now we've got her. <laughs> Wonderful. There's a whole bunch of them. Kubo? Huh? Moogles! Yay! Moogles? Are you saying you want to help? Kubo, Kubo. Kubo! <laughs> uh, Mm -hmm. Use us to protect Sarah from the gods. Would you like an explanation? Heck no. Okay. Um. Oh, wow. Moglin, Margaret, <laughs> and Moggy. Ha ha ha! Puns on names! Puns on names! Okay, I think now is actually where we'll stop. Uh, thanks for watching again, and tune in next time in the next video. Maybe I won't edit as much, I don't know.